Second disease I'm going to be covering today is downy mildew. Downy mildew is very devastating disease in Illinois, in cucurbits. This is particular downy mildew of cucurbits. Does not go others. It does not go soybean, does not go, for example, tomato or others. This is particularly uh, downy mildew of cucurbits. And uh, downy mildew of cucurbits uh, is a pathogen uh, is Pseudoprenospora cubensis. This is kind of uh, what we use call fungus. Right now we call fungus-like organism, but it doesn't matter for the growers. Still we can say fungus. This is the obligate parasite. Has to be associated with the living tissues, like a pumpkin, like a cucumber, like a melon or so. Meaning that this, this does not, this pathogen does not survive in Illinois in winter. It usually comes, unless we do have a disease in the greenhouses. And in Michigan, for example, they do have greenhouses. In Ontario, Canada, for example, Limingaton is uh, lots of greenhouses and they do have in the greenhouses. They just escape from the greenhouse, go to the field. What we usually get is from Florida, Georgia, and perhaps from Texas. We do not get every year. Some years we get, some years we do not get it. This pathogen only goes to the leaves, does not go to the fruit. Here, here you see the leaves of cucumber. Here, here you see the leaves of the pumpkin. When it comes, in about one week to 10 days, the whole field will be devastated all the leaves will be will become necrotic and there is no food supply to the plant then everything is gone we are very very serious about this disease first of all we monitor in illinois we monitor eastern half of the united states from rocky mountain to the uh, atlantic ocean we do have bi-weekly bi-weekly teleconference and everybody reports where this pathogen is. For example, is in Florida, is in Arkansas, is in Tennessee, is in Indiana, and we know uh, what to do in Illinois. When we do have in Kentucky, in Indiana, even in Arkansas, we really uh, try to uh, get ready to take care of this disease. We do have very good fungicide. I mean. Uh, no really resistant varieties available or no resistant varieties marketable available in Illinois at least. And processing pumpkin is uh, relatively more susceptible than Halloween pumpkins. And since we do produce more than 90% of the processing pumpkins in Illinois, processing in Illinois, it is a huge industry we are very serious about this disease. We just, uh, every week, we monitor all over the state, make sure that this disease is not in Illinois. This year, so far, I detected this one in the southeast, in White County. I have to mention the county, White County. And I, I released information to all extension educators and the growers that they ready. But because of the dry condition, it did not really move. And pretty much is still in the southeast of Illinois. Hopefully, by the time if moon season will be over, we shouldn't uh, be really too serious about this disease this year. However, if somebody wants to control, we have excellent compounds, fungicide to control this disease. Couple times happened we detected early in late July, early August in northeastern part of Illinois and also in Tazewell County where we do have the processing pumpkin industry and this fungicide was sprayed in one week later I couldn't even collect the sample. Very, very effective. Those fungicides are, one is Revis. Revis has been very effective in Illinois and we have been using. Another one, new one, Orandus. Orandus fungicide is relatively new, 
highly, highly effective against the downy mildew of cucurbits. And Orendus comes in two different combinations. One is we call Orendus Opti and Orendus Ultra. Both of them combination of two fungicide. Orendus Ultra is more effective in Illinois against the downy mildew of cucurbit, but either one could be used. So we have Orendus, Orendus Ultra, Orendus Opti. We do have Revis and we do have Ronimand. All of them are very effective. If from now on or next year anybody wants to spray like for downy mildew, uh, take one of them. Orendus Ultra, my recommendation would be Orendus Ultra, alternated with Ronimand. They will take care of the downy mildew very, very easily. We should not expect downy mildew in Illinois before July 15. Even if it comes in July 15, we detect somewhere spreading and we have to spray, no question about it. We can spray uh, with the backpack, the machines, tractor, or even airplane, depends on the size of the field. Every spray will be effective for downy mildew. So I did not bring really infected tissue of down a mill to, to showcase because I did not want to introduce down a mill in this station, in this field. That's what I did not bring it. But again, I do have the fact sheet. Here is the fact sheets of down a mill do. It's very good. And everybody can have, uh, uh, can have access easily, free access to this fact sheets. That's pretty much on the